Today we're building a fully fledged Laravel backend with Pipedream. Starting with a fresh project, we're gonna pull in the package with Composer. After completed installation, the workbench is available at slash Pipedream. So to get started, think about what kind of models you will need in your application and simply list them in the sketch window. Put any attributes directly under. As you can see, this spawns a schema to the right. This schema is fed into pipes to create all the files we need for a Laravel project. To see the resulting files, go to the Review tab. Here we can make manual changes or if needed discard individual files. At any time you can go back to the Design tab and modify your sketch or schema. Data types and attribute properties can be updated as needed directly in the schema. Under settings you can select what pipes to deploy and under templates you can modify the templates used by the pipes. Finally, in the build tab, commit the files to disk. Swapping to your IDE, you can now see the files were inserted successfully. Pipedream helps you by adapting community conventions and best practices. It will add ID columns and timestamps automatically. When unsure of data types, it will make qualified guesses based on 100,000 Laravel GitHub repositories. It's easy to add relationships. Just do a model-id attribute or a new chunk with heading model1, model2 for a many-to-many. -many. Experimental features include factories and seeds. After building the app, we are ready to migrate and seed. And there you go, a basic API up and running. Hope you have enjoyed this short introduction. Stay tuned for part 2 for details on all features and part 3 for a source code walkthrough. Thank you and see you soon.